Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your late January 2019 general reading. It's a general reading that will not resonate with each and every every Virgo who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you to those who've already done so. Thank you to the new subscribers. Um sorry for my absence. Mm -hmm very busy at this time of the year um, but anyhow let's get started so we've got we were supposed to have two cards for love two cards for a career and um, finance and then we'll look at the card at the bottom of the deck then our angel answers card uh, but three cards fell out for love and romance for it, my Virgos so let's jump into it we have the lovers we have the death card. Oof. Okay. If it we whoa 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 Virgo, what is going on? So I mean you know we can't. You know, sometimes people go into this whole big old mystical, spooky oogie dookie type of meaning for the cards and sometimes it can it can mean you know so much more than the face value of the cards but this is pretty plain you know there's a choice the lovers a choice specifically in love that you need to make one that either will transform uh, a relationship or bring one to an ending and this ending has been happening for a while the death card is not an all of a sudden type of thing you wake up in the morning and you say you know what I'm done and you walk out the door and you never come back no this is the dying of of a situation of a relationship and then we have the world you have gone as far as you can go in a cycle with a particular person. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. We've got Gemini, can't, uh, Scorpio on the board. Um, if I mean, if you need signs, they are your zodiac signs. Um, it's just plain and simple. Virgo, you have to make a choice. Some of you, you know, you're deciding to, you're deciding, of course, between two lovers. I feel as if one is, one is better, one is just not. You know who to choose, but something ties you to the other. This might even be like some like I don't subscribe to that whole twin flame soulmate. I don't know, you know, they exist, of course, I believe. But I don't that's not what my channel is about. I don't I don't know too much about it to you know, just throw those terms around. Anyhow you can look it up, Google it. Um The angel, the universe, God, heaven has brought two souls together. Now, it's the bringing together and then free will jumps in because you can be brought together, but just what you two decide to do and the bringing and being brought together is completely up to you two. Um... You've got to make a choice to let one situation go. You have something outside of a situation. Okay? For some of you. For a lot of you. I'm going to just go, go ahead and be honest. You you have an established relationship, and then you have something outside of it, or you or you definitely have someone on my, in mind 
outside of your established relationship. Some of you feel like a situation is dying altogether, whether you make the choice to completely close it out. Some of you know that you have to, in choosing a particular person, the relationship is going to completely transform. An old way of being with this person will have to die and you guys will have to start a new cycle of being together, okay? Whatever that may look like engagement moving in together I don't know but you can't stay the same it can't rest in that same energy okay all right career and finance three majors right those are majors yeah two of wands six of swords all right so Someone intuitively, instinctually knows which way to go, but they're tied to one particular position, but knowing that they should, it, you might need to go the other way. Your, your whole world is tied up into this decision. You, know, you have to cut one way out and go the other, but you're, you're tied here. Your hand is here on this staff. On this staff, your hand is here, and then the world is another hand. So it's like we can't even really give a lot of attention to this situation. This is also about growth. Look at the leaves here. Um, are you moving forward? Are you growing in this particular situation? So once again, another choice is six cards. I'll make a decision, a choice, the choice to move to a better, more calm, placid way of life, of doing things, of earning money. Um, for some of you, you, the job is stressful. Very stressful. And you think about leaving because your stress level is high. Because you're completely tied to this. The bottom of the deck, yeah, we have the hanged man. We have someone who is in suspended animation, allowing the universe to have three major arcana happen in their life, just allowing things to happen, not pushing anything forward, and not pushing anything backward either. What what will happen is what will happen with. The hangman also seeing something from a different perspective. Some of you also could be beating yourself up in like a self purgatory in regards to some of you feeling like you missed an opportunity um, by way of maybe not making a decision or how you treated a situation or maybe someone's in this type of self purgatory in regards to how they treated you. Um, some of you are waiting for change a new perspective in regards to career and finance let's see what the angel answer says wow romance <laughs> romance before finance or after finance i don't know y'all let me know get in the comments and let me know which way you you do your romance after finance or before finance Okay. <laughs> um, all my old heads don't know what I'm talking about. No romance without that finance, right? Okay. Um, romance. It's here for the taking, but you have to allow something to die. Queen of Cups on Roman. Wow, somebody's open. Like somebody's, somebody is in love, and someone is open to give their cup of love, and they want to receive it from you. They definitely want romance with you, uh, Virgo. 
Now, this could be you. This could be the other person. Okay, I'll wait to... All right. All right. So, this is just a snippet. So, this is what's going on. I hope that it resonated with you, Virgo. Um, drop down in the comments and let me know what's going on. Um, Virgo, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Uh, happy New Year. Okay. Take care. I will talk to you guys in February. Um, I want to try to stay consistent as I can possibly be. It is very busy time. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.